Aaron, it's still early in the season, obviously, but uh, you guys are 2-0. Oh. Um, how are things coming along for you right now? Well, I think, you know, we're very young. Uh, we have two uh, starters back from last year, two returning letter winners. So it's a, it's a nice opportunity to start a new and, and uh, see what we're able to do. Um, one of the challenges maybe for you as a coach is you don't have quite as many players on the varsity squad as you've had in past years. Have it, has it caused you to have to adjust how you look at a game at all? I'm really happy with the number of people we have in our program. We have, uh, we have 11 JV players in our program and currently we have eight varsity players in our program and we just not, have not decided yet who's going to end up in, you know, on what, what level and who we're going to move up. So. I'm happy with how hard the guys have worked. Uh, it certainly has been adjust, an adjustment in terms of, of how we've planned practice and how we've set up practice, but it's worked out extremely well. Our guys are working hard. Our leadership has been really good with Luke and Charlie, our two returning starters. And uh, right now we have a couple injuries that we're trying to work through, and so we're going to be a little bit shorter tonight. Um, Brookville, uh, obviously coming off of a state championship game appearance last year. Uh, I know they have high expectations. They're playing well in the early going. What kind of challenges do they present for you tonight? Well, Brookville's depth uh, is something that you know we're going to have to contend with. Our communication is going to have to be very good on their substitution. Uh, they're probably as good as anybody, 1 through 11 or 1 through 12, that at least I've seen in a long time. Uh, you know, they have the two premier players that, that we're, we know we're going to have to keep track of tonight. And uh, they present a lot of challenges for us on the boards. Uh, free throw checking is going to be really big tonight. Keeping them off the free throw line is going to be really good because every time they go to the free throw line, that means we've had somebody else pick up another foul and we cannot afford anybody sitting tonight um, in foul trouble. I think the good news is in terms of, you know, we'll, we'll basically play five guys tonight. And our conditioning has been very good. Uh, if there's one thing I'm extremely happy with so far this season, it's been our conditioning and our ability to go the entire game. So we, we know that we're going to have to play smart. We know that we're going to have to match Brookville's physical nature. Uh, they're up in you. And we have to make sure that we uh, don't lose contact because we know that if we lose contact and have some empty possessions, uh, the game's going to get away from us very quickly.